Hi, everyone. Welcome to Testimony Time. I have the honor of being joined by my sister-in-law, Mrs. Heather Lloyd Green. Really, really excited because uh, it was a, priv a privilege and an honor to serve my niece and my nephew who just graduated from the Resilient Stars program. They're also doing their uncle's program, Awaken Genius. And uh, that one is going to be for the entire term, right? The, yes. the semester, yes. So uh, Heather, today I just wanted to get your feedback on you know, what you wanted your children to get out of the Resilient Stars program, first of all. And then I have a couple more questions to ask. Thank you again for joining us. You're welcome. OK, well, I just want to say that, you know what, I am honored and I'm also very lucky to be um, related to you guys and to be able to get the benefit of both your programs um, at such a low cost, right? Because I got the family discount. <laughs> but um, the thing I want to say is that I I think of myself, and I don't want to sound like um, conceited or anything like that, but I think I'm a pretty good mother, right? You are. But awesome. as, uh, as a mom, thank you. As a mom, you know, as a parent, we, uh, we all have... Um, we can sometimes give our flaws or or our downfalls, we can pass them along to our children, right? And even though yeah. I think I'm a good mom, I'm not perfect, right? And I recognize the strengths and the abilities of um, you as, in your profession as a, a clinical psychologist, as well as my brother as an educator. And I know the strengths that you guys have definitely most definitely compliment my weaknesses, right? And um, I see the people that you are, and I see the, the work that you've done in the community with other um, children in the programs that you run. And I had to have my kids benefit from that because I mean, why wouldn't I? It's, the, the, I'm, it's accessible to me and um, it can only make them stronger and better people. So um, what I hope to gain from the program is definitely what I did gain and what the children gained was for them to be equipped with skills, right, to help them maneuver the world and make it less cumbersome and less stressful. Um, so what they did gain from the program is tools that they're going to use. They have access to these tools, but I know that it's as they go along in life, they're going to access it more and more because we have something to refer to now, right? So it's like, I can always refer back to uh, the class, what happened in the session with your uncle, what happened in the session with your aunt, what kind of skills that you guys talk about that help you to relieve stress, uh, what have you been doing in your journal, you know, all of the things that you recommended to address the issues that you diagnosed based on, um, you know, the skills assessment or whatever they did at the beginning of the program, yeah. they, I, I see them coming to fruition and I see them using it um little by little and i know that as we go on because it's only been a short period of time i know that as we go on they're going to access it more and more and it's going to become a part of who they are and yeah the, it's an excellent program it Thank really you. does enhance the grit and um give them tools to, to access when they're feeling a certain way or when they're feeling down or anxious Thank you so much, Heather. First of all, I think you're a superstar. You rock solid as a mom, right? <laughs> I know when I just had Leia, you were my go-to person for everything. Should I do this? Should I do that? What do you think about this? <laughs> so, so I just want to say that it's been it's been a really a true blessing having the continue continual family support. You know, as the old saying says, it takes a village, and that is so true. You yep. know, you you are a teacher, you're an art teacher, and I can't wait for Leah to get classes with you because Me I so know much. she's going to benefit so much, right? So thank you so much. And I'll just get to the second, um, you know, what you, you said that you, you have something that they could pinpoint, that you could say, you know, what did you learn from your uncle? What did you learn from your aunt in terms of coping tools? Do you have any specific tool that you felt they really benefited from, uh, you know, in the program. I heard you mentioned the journaling. Was there anything else that sort of pops out at you that you well, think? I, I know if I had time, because I'm not that type of person that thinks off the bat like that, but that is what comes to mind. It's something tangible because they can reflect on it, right? So yes. um, it is, I mean, they got breathing skills, you know, the meditation, the just, um, 
all of those little things, but the journaling was the one that stood out to me the most because it gives them time to um, think about what happened, time to reflect, how can I have done it differently? You know, what could I have done differently to make the situation or the outcome better? So I think that was the most tangible thing for me to grab onto, but the, uh, all, of, all of the little skills um, are coming into play and, and helping them out a lot. But that reflection piece, and, and then I even told um, Haru the other day, because whatever we were going through, right? I told him, um, when you are alone in this time, because you had he had like a low punishment type of thing happening. And I'm like, when you are alone with yourself in your room, that is the time. And reflect on some of the things that you're, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. There's some, um, they're removing a tree. Oh, Lord. Could you put this window down really quick? I'm sorry. That's okay. I actually have a lot of noise in the background, so I was wondering what to do. But that, that's just fine. It's real. It's all real. Okay, so I was telling him that while you have this alone time, it's a benefit to you to, to, to help you grow. It, the only time you can grow and reflect on how to do things better is when you are alone with, with yourself and with your thoughts. And, and that's um, something that he also learned from the program as well. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm glad that you said that, you know, in terms of, uh, I'm not glad that he was on punishment, but I am glad, <laughs> I am glad that you said that because, you know, it's like when, when we have our resilient stars and our resilient warriors, we're not saying that they're going to leave and just be perfect kids, right? But they are going to be able to, as you said, you know, I, I love that you said to him, think about what you've done, process it. You know, I think that 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 is that's that's a you know really good uh, way for us to learn about what we've done and to really feel it. Mm -hmm. You know, to really to really mentally sort of rewire our because it's all about our habits. Mm -hmm. You know, to help us reflect and say, okay, you know what? I don't like having to to sort of have my discipline time or you know, and, and what can I do to not have to repeat that, not to have to experience that. So that's really good. My last question for today would be, uh, what are some reasons you would recommend the, the Robinson Lloyd Resiliency Group suite of programs? We, not, we don't only have the Resilient Stars and um, the Resilient Warriors, we also have the Awakened Genius and the Math Coaching. And all of them at the core, they're focusing on helping us to, to evolve to being our best selves. What would mm -hmm. make you recommend these programs to, to others? Well, I am already, I've already been recommending these programs. True, to others. true. Now, um, what I can say is that if all of these programs address the whole child, right? We yes. can send our children to school and they can learn the basic skills that they need in order to survive, to get a job and things like that, right? But what your programs offer is the tools that they need to be a whole person. How, how can I be balanced? How can I communicate better? How can I live a stress-free life, even though I'm going to go through some of the same issues and problems that everybody goes through on a, on, a, on a daily basis? But how can I make my life manageable so that it doesn't bring me down and, and affect me to the point where I'm not able to to move forward, to grow, to um, to do better, and it, whether it's financially, spiritually, emotionally, right? So we all can benefit from those tools. I even sometimes when I sit in and I listen in on the sessions, I gain more skills to help me, even though I'm an adult that has gone through things already, right? Things that I wish I was equipped with as a child. Did somebody sit down and tell me these things and um, give me the benefit of, of having a holistic view of the things that I would go through in life and how to deal with them. And I did not have that benefit. Some of the things I had to learn in my thirties and forties, my kids are having access to, to that now at the age of nine and 11. And I know that they're gonna be that much greater for it. So that's, that's, why, yes. that's why I will continue to recommend the, um, the programs to my friends. And some of them are already, you know, are already yes. um, benefit, benefiting from it as well. So yes. definitely continue to recommend you guys. Thank you so much, Helen. You nailed it. That's exactly what we aim to do at RLRG. We aim to empower students with proven solutions. Absolutely. Really, really grateful for your share. I am going to, uh, of course, invite you, your children, your beautiful, beautiful children back so that they can share uh, their perspective as well. 
And until next time, this was Testimony Time with Mrs. Heather Lloyd-Green. Thanks for having me. Of course. <laughs>